you won the Amlin 1965 chase last year on Captain Chris, so you must be pleased to be back at Ascot at the start of the season. Yeah, it's great to be back here. It's a fantastic race course, and it's nice that all the flats are season finished now we can get back jumping yeah. at Ascot which is great. You thought we found it a lucky track for you? It's been a lucky track on the whole um, obviously Captain Chris winning the Amelin Chase last year was uh, you know, uh, you know, a great day as well but um, yeah it's been, a, it's been a good track for, for a long time. And um, you know, with the Amelin Chase due on sort of November 23rd um, is this plan for Captain Chris again this year? Yeah I think it's definitely the, the, the idea is, is, is to come back here for the Amelin Chase his first run back um, like last year and probably go back to King George again after that so um, yeah, fingers crossed we could do with the rain staying away. He, he wouldn't like it too soft, but um, yeah, he loves going right-handed, so um, yeah, Ascot's ideal. Um, and, you know, they're, they're lovely fences around here. The chase course is, you know, it's, it's a great course to ride. It's a big track, but for, for, for good horses, it's, it's ideal. Um, and I say Captain Chris going right-handed couldn't be better. And how important is it to have a good chase early in the season for, you know, for these top-class chases? It's very important because they, they all need to get started. Um, you know, you've, you've got the Charlie Hall, whether it be it's early season, you, you know, the Amlin Chase. Um, you know, you've got the Paddy Power, which is a handicap, uh, and the Holden Gold Cup, which is a handicap. So to have a conditions chase um, over two and a half miles is, is, is important and, and it's ideal for Captain Chris. You are the second most winning national hunt jockey riding, aren't you? Um, whereabouts are you? Do you know what number you're on now? Um, I think we've passed the two and a half thousand, so, um, so we're, we're a long way away from AP, but um, no, I've been very fortunate to ride you know lots of nice horses for a long time and, and you know stay in one piece which which is important but you know the jockeys can't go that the horses they're, they're the important ones um, but yeah I mean what AP's achieved is phenomenal really in, in over the last sort of 15 20 years to, to be at the top of your sport for that long is is um, is amazing and, um, when you started out at 18 did you think you'd ever ride so many winners no I think um, probably like my parents thought that I would um, do a bit of point of pointing and um, go back to work on the family farm really so uh, so it's yeah it's, it's lasted a bit longer than they thought um, and I've had a fantastic time doing it I mean so a good start as a youngster is, is hugely important to a career isn't it you know? yeah, definitely yeah, yeah you know you, you've got to learn the basics um, and um, I was very lucky to start with David Nicholson who's a who's fantastic for, for young jockeys um, he set me off on the right the right foot mm -hmm. Uh, you're in a sort of four-way tie at the moment for sort of second posse on the Jockeys' Championship. Um, do you think, and you finished third last year, didn't you? Um, do you think you're going to be reclaim? You have to almost call it a crowd. <laughs> and McCoy's so sort of different field. But um, do you think you can sort of get back there to be second again? We hope so. Um, Philip Hobbs got a lovely string of horses this year. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice busy winter. Um, I'd say Jason McGuire, Noel Feely, even Sam Twist and Davis. He's, he's sort of the young one coming up through now. With, you know, it's, it's very competitive. But um, I think it's, it's great for jump racing. There's, you know, there is a very strong strong bracket of jockeys mm -hmm. riding. And um, of those horses at Philip Hobbs, then think particularly looking forward to riding this year? Other well, than Captain Chris. <laughs> obviously, other than Captain Chris, um, it's very hard to know. Um, there's lots of nice young horses as well um, coming through, but I think Fingal Bay is, is the horse we're looking forward to getting back. He was obviously sidelined with injury half, second half of last season, but he, um, you know, he's a very, very special horse, and if he can come back to his best, um, you know, he's, he's got you know, some big days in him.